beautiful surroundings. It's a better place to be. We have a place to ourselves. I to thank uh, Tutku Tours and Levitt for uh, opening up the facility for us for a special evening. Uh, we've been conducting the uh, Ephesus meeting for several years now, beginning in 1999. 3,000 people in attendance, and we want to continue this. With your support, encouragement, participation, we hope that the gathering will continue to grow and it's just a great time after an evening of travel I know you're a little bit fatigued but uh, we're in support of some exciting presentations I'm looking forward to all of them I want to recognize the staff of Tutu Tours who are with us tonight these guys are, are magic in terms of what they're capable of doing okay the uh, first lecture that we've got is a good friend of mine and a uh, great friend of Tutu Tours uh, Mark Wilson, visiting professor of early Christianity at Regent University of Virginia. At the very least, it was a win-win situation for the captain and his crew. They received their charter fee for carrying Paul and his companions to Patara, plus they could conduct business along the way at their nightly ports of call. The one resembles the genre of paraplus. Another feature of a paraplus is that it provides distances between places, usually defined according to the number of sailing days. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your So even minor details uh, speak to us about the reality of what's happening in the biblical text. And they raised him, they broke bread, and ate. Emphasized the importance of appeasing the gods, satisfying the gods, or working your way to heaven. The message of the gospel was that God has worked his way to us in the incarnation of the person of Jesus Christ. God has stepped into human flesh. God has walked among us. Uh, that Jesus is more than just a great teacher. That he's God in sandals. God on foot. A God who loves you. Who cares about you. He's the God in the Bible who always comes down in the scripture 
to meet us at the point of our need. When Adam and Eve have sinned against God, he doesn't call them up to heaven and rebuke them. He comes down into the garden, into the fallen place, to call them like a parent. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. Greater things have yet to come. Greater things still to be done in this city. Greater things have yet to come. Greater things are still to be done. and twenty years old, took it to himself a wife who was, and unwittingly turned the glued together pages continued, three hundred cubits long, fifty cubits wide, thirty cubits high, built of gopher wood and pitched within and without with pitch. The preacher paused for a moment, and then he read the text again. In other words, there's only one historical arc and its description and landing spot are best understood from the biblical account. We might also add the account of the Quran. Uh, even though these accounts are the latest. And then just as puzzled, he said to his congregation, Friends, I have read the Bible through many times before. This is the first time I've ever read this. But I believe the Bible to be true from cover to cover. And so I accept this verse as proof of the fact that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> Mark, uh, may I say at the outset that we from Ambrose University in Calgary, Alberta, Canada are just delighted to be with you on this most enjoyable evening. In my own dream journey, I find that some of my most numinous, luminous dreams occur when I am traveling. And I think it's the disorientation and the displacement that I experience when I'm traveling that sets me up for those dream encounters. Educational travel at its appealing best is about the unknown other and the unfamiliar place. It is a curricular response to an inner yearning to leave behind the ordinary routines of normal life for an encounter with the extraordinary. And the more remote, exotic version of the extraordinary, the better. It's been often said in bumper stickers and elsewhere that the journey is indeed the destination. It's uh, my pleasure to bring Christian greetings from Ridley College in Melbourne, Australia, and to lead our closing prayers this evening. Our gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, as we meet in this ancient city, reached with the Gospel nearly 2,000 years ago through your servant, the Apostle Paul, we thank you for this night, for what we have learnt, for what we've experienced, for the fellowship we've enjoyed, for the generosity of our host and the wisdom of all who have taught us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.